hey hi didn't quite see you there how are you doing what's up you enjoying your internet browsing um, thanks for clicking on this video i'm always torn between being super upbeat and enthusiastic and loud just to keep you entertained but also to be more genuine just speaking and talking and talking and speaking what do i find entertaining see that's what i've got to do got to channel it from my inspirations to you directly to you i was planning to do this april fools video where i post a video saying how i'm gonna change up the way i'm gonna be making videos um, to be more like, hi guys, what's up? Uh, and that was going to be the joke. Um, but then I was like, how about I, how about I concentrate on doing actual stuff that I want to do, and actual drawings, art, animation, and paintings, and just doing them more frequently than thinking about weird shit like that. So now you're getting this. Um, what are you watching? What is this video? You ask. And I reply, this is part of the freelance work that I've been doing for a video game studio. Unfortunately, I can't say much um, about the actual game or the studio or anything. It's being led by a guy. Um, he works for a bigger game studio, but he's doing this thing on the side. I've been doing some pixel art backgrounds for them which is cool um, because they saw me for my pixel art. But then they also were like, hey, do you want to do some character concept stuff for us or other art and loads of different things? And I was like, heck yeah, I do. Yes. Am I living the dream? I've wanted to be a concept artist for... since almost I started drawing. So have I made it? <laughs> is, th is that what I'm telling you? Is this... I'm, I've done some concept art for an actual game that hopefully will come out. <laughs> Who knows if it will. But it's it's a real thing, and I've done some concept art for it. Does that mean I've reached my dream? I mean, obviously not. I haven't peaked. This is one of the first jobs that I've had, and I'm aiming to do more. And I have big aspirations of comic books and animated shows and and video games um but i feel i feel successful i feel like it's been great to have the opportunity to sort of do actual work like i've done a few bits and bobs um but it's really cool that you know so soon after uni i've managed to do some cool stuff and it'll only go up from here. I can't really say much about the game, but as you can see, um, it's very fantastical, very, um, you know, uh, magic and fantasy based. Um, and here are two little characters. One was, one's based off like a big, um, a big guy. Uh, it was based off like a turtle. Uh, that was like some of the, the research and, and, and inspiration that they sent me to base it off and he's like a big uh, merchant guy who like sells things to you the second character is um like a little warlock uh type guy who upgrades your stuff uh he's sort of like a wood he like he wants you to free animals or something um i don't know if i'm saying too much maybe i'll stop there but um yeah one's like a, a merchant character and the other's some sort of forest magic-y person. Hope you enjoy these little sketches. They were really fun to do. Uh, you know, I love doing this type of stuff and it was great to be able to fulfill an actual brief. Sorry it's been a while. I feel like I am uploading videos less frequently and that's, that's I'm, you know, I wanna be doing more to be honest. I also wanna be doing more animation and I keep saying that. It's just very, very time consuming. Just to update you on a few other commissions that I had, a couple of them sort of fell through a bit. Uh, that animation, unfortunately, um, the guy, something came up and I, he, he sort of, his, he's postponed it. So I might still be working on it in the future, but he said at the moment he wasn't prepared to go forward for it because of personal reasons. Yeah, I've got a few cool ideas in, in the backlog. I've done a few drawings already filmed. I'm working on an actual painting that's behind me. And I also have, I know in, I think in a couple of weeks time, I've, I entered a Witcher, a Witcher 3, um, like Gwent, 
art competition that I'll tell you about in a couple of weeks' time, and I'm going to make you go and vote for my art on a website, I think, at some point. In a video, I'll, I'll make sure I'll tell you where to go and where to vote and what I've done, and I'll show you the drawing. Lots of things in the works. I'm planning to do a lot of drawing today, got a day off. Might be updating like the channel a bit. I feel like I need a change. I hope you're doing well. Are you all right? How's it going? Uh, it's all, it's spring, it's Easter. Springtime is here. Hopefully it'll be less cold. Um, I hope you're doing well. Let me know what you're up to in the comments. Um, doing any art? You done much creative stuff? Why are you subscribing to this channel? Why, may I ask you? Don't upload that frequently, but every day I get like few subscribers. It just keeps coming. And I'm like, why? Why are you doing this, you crazy? I wouldn't subscribe to me. Look at this. Maybe a new channel icon. Look, it's a cartoony me. What else has been going on? I've been playing tons of Monster Hunter and Pyre. <gasps> Pyre. I love Pyre. If you've got a way to play Pyre, play Pyre. The art's incredible. I'm going to do some fan art as well. So that's a few videos. I've done a Princess Nokia um, fan art. I want to do a Pyre one. I've got that Witcher art competition um, video filmed and painting. And then I'll try and do some more pixel art as well. Going to cover all bases, all audience viewers. What do you like? Huh? What do you want to see me do? Tell me. I bought loads of pens recently. I'm having fun doing like pens stuff. I want to scan more sketchbook stuff in and work on that. You know, combine the digital with the traditional. So yeah, it's all good. I think I've been talking for a hell of a long time now. What can I update you on? I've slowly started to plan out some prints that I'm, I can print. Unfortunately, oh yeah, unfortunately I didn't get that table at that zine fair. So the impetus to print things uh, for to sell is no longer there to push me, but I'm still going to do it and I'm still going to do a website, you know, a, a, a online shop. I promise. Pro promises. That's all I'm giving you. That's all I ever seem to give you, just promises. But thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for subscribing. Um, enjoy your internet browsing. Have a good day. A lot of people that I like work with and stuff. Sometimes you have conversations about YouTube and it's like they're, they're not really into YouTube. So they're always like saying how kids are like obsessed with it and like how their relatives who are like children like really want to get onto YouTube and stuff. And I'm just sitting here like thinking I have a YouTube channel, but I don't want to tell anyone about it. And like imagine just imagining people that you know watching your videos. It's it's not good. It's it's not a good thing. But I don't care. I don't care if they're seeing this. It's just a strange man talking to himself in the room.